Hi everyone, welcome to the topic Simple Interest Part 5. In this video, we can discuss about sum becomes a number of times questions. Very important topic. In this type, there are three cases. First case is find out how many years means a time period when rate of interest is given and the relation in between the principal and amount is given. And second case is find out the rate of interest when time period is given and the relation in between amount and sum is given. And third case is find out if the sum is doubled in 5 years. Then in how many years the sum becomes 10 times? This type of questions we will discuss in this video. Let us move to the first question. Now see the first question in case 1. In how many years a certain sum double itself at 8% per annum at simple interest? See here in how many years we have to find out a time period t. t equal to how much? In how many years a certain sum double itself? A certain sum means here sum means a principal. Principal is nothing but a capital P. It is doubled. That means amount equal to 2P. Finally, principal is a doubled. Means amount equal to 2P. 2 times of sum at 8 percentage per annum. Rate of interest R equal to how much? 8 percentage per annum. At simple interest. Now we have to find out this time period. Now see in traditional method means by using formula. What is the formula of amount A equal to P plus I. Now see that equal to P plus I means here simple interest. Simple interest formula is PTR by 100 that equal to P common 1 plus TR by 100. Now see here amount amount equal to how much 2p so 2p equal to p into 1 plus tr by 100 p and p gets cancelled now see tr by 100 equal to how much 2 minus 1 that equal to 1 that implies a tr equal to 100 what is the value of r 8 so here t equal to 100 by 8 how many times gets cancelled? 12.5 times. T. Here T means a time period. That is in years. Units are in years. 12.5 years. This is a traditional method. Now see shortcut method. Now see. We have to find out a time period. P is given. Amount is given. And rate of interest is 8% per annum. Here I want to suppose principal is 100 percentage here p is 100 percentage then what about amount a equal to 200 percentage here a is equal to p plus i then what is the difference in between a and p 100 percentage 100 percentage is nothing but what simple interest so here si equal to how much 100 percentage for Rate of interest is 8 percentage. Here rate of interest is 8 percentage. Simple interest is 100 percentage and rate of interest is 8 percentage. We have to find out the time period. For how many years this simple interest we got for 8 percentage per annum? Simply divide this 100 percentage means simple interest by rate of interest. So here time period t equal to 100 percentage by rate of interest 8 percentage. Then 100 by 8 that equal to 12.5 years. That's it. Very simple. Imagine principal is 100 percentage then amount is doubled that is given in the question. So a equal to 200 percentage and rate of interest is 8 percent. 
difference is interest. Simple interest is 100 percentage. Then we have to calculate a time period. T equal to 100 percentage by 8 percentage. Then we got 12.5 years. Now see the second question. In how many years the sum of money becomes 7 times of itself and at 50 percentage per annum interest. Now see, in how many years? Again, find out the time period P. The sum of money becomes 7 times. Means here principal equal to 100 percentage. Amount equal to 700 percentage. What is the rate of interest? 50 percentage per annum. 15 percentage per annum. Now we have to find out the time period. Simply take the difference in between these two. That is 600 percentage divided by 15 percentage. Percent percent gets cancelled and this 15 cancelled 4 times in this 60. Then we got 40 years. These two examples are in case 1. Because in these two questions we find out the time period. Now coming to case 2 we have to find out the rate of interest. See first two question in Case 2. At what rate percentage per annum a certain sum triple itself in 8 years? Here we have to find out the value of our rate of interest. Rate of interest units are per annum and it is in percentages. A certain sum triple itself in 8 years. Time period is 8 years. And sum is a tripled. See, principal is 100 percentage, then amount. Amount is a triple mix, 300 percentage for how many years? 8 years. Then take the difference, 200 percentage. This 200 percentage is what? Simple interest. For how many years? 8 years. For 8 years, simple interest is 200 percentage. Then we have to find out the rate of interest. Per annum, simply divide this 200 percentage by 8, then we will get the value of R per annum. So, here, what is the value? 100 by 8 means 12.5. 200 by 8 means 25. 25 percentage per annum. Now, see second question. At what rate of interest will a sum of money becomes? 6 times of itself in 25 years. The sum is 100 percentage. Amount is 600 percentage. For how many years? 25 years. 25 years. Then we should find out what is the value R value. So R. R equal to difference is 500 percentage means simple interest for 25 years. If you divide this 500 percentage by this 25, then we will get the rate of interest per annum. 500 percentage by 25, then answer is a 20 percentage per annum. Now coming to third case, first question. A certain sum double itself in 5 years. A certain sum means 100 percentage double itself in how many years? 5 years. 5 years. What is the next one? In how many years becomes 7 times itself at simple interest? 100 percentage and 7 times. 700 percentage. How many years? Here no need to find out the rate of interest. We have to find out the years. For how many years the sum becomes 7 times itself at simple interest? So see here for 5 years what is the simple interest? Difference. What is that? 100 percentage. So here 100 percentage is for 5 years. Then see here what is the difference? 600 percentage. 600 percentage is for how many years? Cross multiply. Otherwise cancel these zeros and percentages. Now cross multiply. Then what is the result? 30. Okay. For 30 years the sum becomes 7 times itself. See the second question. A certain sum 1.3 times in 5 years. A certain sum 100 percentage 1.3 times means 1.3 into 100. Then what is the result? 
130 percentage. For how many years? 5 years. Next condition is in how many years it becomes 1.42 times itself. 100 percentage, 1.42 means 142 percentage for how many years? See here, difference is 30. 30 percentage is for 5 years, then 42 percentage for how many years? Simply cross multiply 42 into 5 by 30. This 5 gets cancelled in 30 in 6 times, then the 6 cancelled how many times? 7 times. Okay, 7 years. These are the questions for your practice. Try to solve these questions and write your answers in comment section. If you like this video, please do subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.